The 8 and 5 Wilfrid Laurier Golden Hawks entered the Arthur Burge Gymnasium to play the 9 and 3 McMaster Marauders on Friday night. The Marauders won the first two sets. Laurier rallied to take the third, and we picked things up in the fourth, where Rachel Tedarelli leaves it for Carly Welsh, who gets the drop shot to go. The Golden Hawks respond with a spike that just catches the back corner. Sarah Masterson sets it up for Kayla Jansen at the net, but she is stuffed by Danielle Walker. A few plays later, Teresa Wick sees a hole down the middle and gets the kill. Laurier wasn't done there. Christy Town sets the ball perfectly, and the Golden Hawks get another point off the spike down the middle again. The third time around, Stephanie Gilmore gets a hand on it, and Carly Welsh comes up with a dig. Jennifer Holt scrambles to make the play, and Jackie Sove finishes it off. Vettorelli plays the part of decoy perfectly and allows Welsh some room to slam it down. Laurier would hang on to win the set, though, 25-23. to in the fifth and deciding frame, the Marauders turn to Jen Holt once again to be the catalyst. She plays the backward set to Sarah Masterson for the spike. Holt finished with a game-high 45 assists. A few unforced errors cost the Golden Hawks and the Marauders continue to press. Heidi Bench goes cross-court with the attack and finds the floor. That would do it as McMaster takes the set 15-9. They hung on to win the game 3-2 as the Laurier rally comes up short. Danielle Walker and Heidi Bench each put up 18-point efforts for their teams, but the Marauders' rounded defense came through as four different Marauders all posted double digits and digs. Thanks to the win, the Marauders are just two points back of first place in the OEW West. Reporting for the McMaster Marauders, I'm Jody Kingsbury.